This is a hardware overview of our 8-channel ProXR Lite Solid State Relay Controller. This solid state relay controller includes 8 onboard relays and 8 LED status lights. Each of the solid state relays has a two points of connection for on-off switching applications. Solid state relays come in two varieties. They come in AC or DC and it's important to choose the correct relay for your application. For instance, an AC solid state relay cannot be used for DC switching, so you have to use an AC relay for AC switching applications. Also, it's important to note that if you were to connect a meter between these terminals and then turn the relay on and off, nothing would really happen. And the reason for that is, is solid state relays require a minimum load. In other words, you need to run power through the relay in order to get it to switch. So uh, a load such as a 100 watt light bulb will easily turn on and off through the solid state relay. Whereas a low power mo load, such as a very tiny one watt light or something of that nature, would not easily turn on and off through the solid state relay. This controller also features eight channels of analog to digital conversion. The eight channels of analog to digital conversion is very useful for reading external sensors. External sensors can be used for monitoring temperature, pressure, humidity, and other types of applications uh, the A to D inputs accept voltages in the 0 to 5 volt range and are capable of reading these voltages with 8-bit or 10-bit resolution. Now one of the rules of A to D inputs is you can never leave them disconnected. In other words, A to D inputs always have to be connected to something. So to uh, help solve that requirement of an A to D converter, we include 10K resistors that can be pulled high or low using the up-down jumper. The up-down jumper will keep the inputs quiet by uh, pulling them high to 5 volts through the 10K resistor or pulling them low uh, through the 10K resistor to ground. Another nice feature of the A to D converters is that they have the ability to directly control the relays. So you can connect switches to these A to D converters and map the A to D inputs for direct relay control applications. So if you need manual control of a relay in addition to software control, you can use these A to D inputs connected to switches. This controller also features an integrated temperature sensor. This temperature sensor connects directly to this temperature sensor output terminal. You can run a wire from this output to any of your A to D inputs and use this temperature sensor for monitoring the onboard temperature. Also included is an auxiliary 5 volt output. The 5 volt output is useful for powering up small external TTL circuits or, or small electronics in association with your A to D converters. We also include two terminals for direct wired power applications. So in other words, if you want to power this controller up through two wires, you can screw these wires directly into these terminals and provide a 12 volt power supply and power up this relay board. Now you have the choice to use these terminals or this barrel connector. This is a 2.1 millimeter center positive 12 volt DC power connector. This allows you to power the board either through the barrel connector or through the terminals. This controller also has a program run jumper. The program run jumper is normally in run mode for daily use. However, if you need to make special changes to the firmware, uh, such as settings or configuration, you can switch this jumper over to program mode that will allow you to make these changes and they will store these changes permanently in the controller. You can always use the program run jumper set to program mode to recover any incorrect settings. Just set it to program mode, power up the controller, and run our base station software to recover your settings if you ever make any mistakes. This controller also has a busy ready LED. Normally the ready LED is lit, indicating that the controller is ready for communications. Whenever you send commands to this controller, the LED will switch from ready over to busy and then back to ready. This is a very fast operation as the controller is capable of processing commands at very, very high speeds. This controller has a USB module installed. This module gives you the ability to mount this controller as a virtual COM port on your computer. That will allow you to send simple serial commands to this controller for controlling the relays or reading the A to D inputs. This is a very convenient mechanism. We use the FTDI chip, FT232RL. This is the, the world's best uh, USB to serial converter chip to provide incredibly re reliable connectivity to this controller across many operating systems. 
If you do need to change out the communication module, we have other communication modules available. This module can be removed and replaced with other communication te technologies such as Ethernet, Bluetooth, wireless, RS-232, or other technologies that we're always working on. That about sums it up for this 8-channel solid-state relay controller. If you have any questions, please let us know. We'd be glad to help you out. Thank you.